Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial video. In this video I am going to show you how to paint Avocator Prime in anvils of the Heldenhammer Legion scheme. Here is the list of colors which I'm going to be using on this miniature. I will leave it also down in the description below too. The model is fully assembled and primed with Abaddon Black. The first color I'm going to use is Ashen Grey. I am using a medium dry brush and I start dry brushing the whole surface of the armor. Now I'm going to use Mechanica Standard Grey and with a small layer brush I do an edge highlight and some of the top raised surfaces I do a touch of layering onto the armor parts just to get a nice highlight effect onto it. And finishing the black armor with some dawn stone, I do an edge highlight onto the sharpest features of the armor itself. For the golden details I use Retributor Armor and with a small layer brush I start base painting all the details such as the kneecap, the shoulder pad rims, also some of the symbols, sigils and also the helmet top hair part too. I also base paint the scepter and the sword handle too. Now I'm going to add some wash, for this I use Reichland Flash Shade and I start applying it onto the Retributor Gold parts.
Once it's dry, I make a mix of Retributor armor and Stormhole silver, 1 to 1 part ratio, and I start layering more closer towards the edges to have a nice transition onto the golden armor details. And finishing it with using only Stormhole Silver, I do an edge highlight onto the sharpest features of the gold details. For the robe and hairpiece I use corn red as a base color. I am using a small base brush and I start base painting the parts, being careful around the black armor and the gold which are already being painted. I also switch on to a small layer brush and base paint the handles of the spectre and the sword handle too. Now I'm going to apply Noon Oil Wash onto the corn red base painted areas. Once the wash is completely dry, I am going back to use corn red and first I use a small dry brush and I start dry brushing mainly the rope just to get on that flatter surface a nice smooth highlight. Then I switch onto a medium layer brush and I start picking out the top ray surfaces and also the center parts just to get a nice smooth clear paint on the flatter parts of the rope. Now I'm going to use Wasdaka Red and again I use a medium layer brush and I start layering the robe and I start edge highlighting the sword handles and also the hairpiece.
Now I'm going to make a mix of Vosdaka Red and Kislev Flash 1 to 1 part ratio and with a small layer brush, especially just on the robe, I start to make an edge highlighting onto the sharpest features. And finishing the red details by using Kislev Flash only. I use a small layer brush and I start edge fine highlighting all the sharpest features on the robe, on the sword handle and also on the hair. For the leather parts, I use Rhinox Hide as a base color. And with a medium layer brush, I start base painting all the leather parts, such as the, the belt, the pouch, and also the joint parts where the armors are. Now I'm going to apply Noon Oil Wash onto the Rhinox Hide base painted areas. Once the wash is completely dry, I use Gorthor Brown and with a small layer brush, I start layering the pouch itself on the leather parts and the armor joint parts. I do edge highlight mainly. Finishing the pouch with some Steel Legion Drab, I do an edge highlight onto the pouch itself. Now I'm going to use a Shopti bone for the cloth, which is going to be cream colored. 
I just start base painting the frontal rope part which is hanging downwards the inner part of the red rope and also the arm ropes as well it takes at least three coats of paint to get a nice smooth even coverage onto these parts Now I'm going to give it a wash with Seraphim Sepia. As being mentioned before, uh, I managed to get an all even coverage with three layers of paint. And now I'm going to use a medium layer brush and I start applying the Seraphim Sepia wash onto the Ushapti Bomb painted areas. Once the Seraphim Sepia wash is dry, then I use Agrax of Shade Wash, but just onto the inner section of the arm ropes to get a darker hollowed finish. Once the wash is completely dry, I use Screaming Skull. Now I'm going to use a small dry brush and I start picking out the cloth details, being very careful around the painted parts already. Once it's done, then I switch onto a medium layer brush. I dilute the paint with two part water and one part paint so it flows a bit more smoother. And I start layering the cream cloth parts, leaving the recesses uh, dark as possible. Finishing the cream cloth with some white scar, I do an edge highlight onto the sharpest features of the rope. For the vial and ribbons I use counter blue as a base paint. With a small layer brush I start base painting these details. Now I'm 
going to apply Null Oil Wash onto the counter blue painted areas. Once the wash is completely dry, I use Thousand Suns Blue. On the ribbons, I do an edge highlight with it. On the vial itself, I try to layer and also base paint just to the center piece as a goal for there is the most raised surface, so it's going to be highlighted there. With Bahar of Blue, I do a fine edge highlight onto the ribbons and on the vial I do an edge highlight onto the vial itself and the center piece, just on the top raised surface part, I try to put some small dots just to get that nice highlight. Now I'm going to use Blue Horror and I do a extra fine highlight onto the vial itself. with some old fun grey with an extra small artificer brush I put some dots onto the raised surface and onto the sharpest corners just to cover that and finishing the vial by covering it with some art coat to get a nice glossy look onto the vial. Now I'm going to use Lead Belcher for the sword blade and also some of the sigils and emblems that can be found on the model itself. I use a medium layer brush and I start base painting the sword and also the sigils. Now I'm going to use Noon Oil Wash and I am going to apply it onto the Lead Belcher base painted areas. Now I'm going to use Abaddon Black. While the wash is drying, I decided to base paint the am anvil symbol that can be found on the robe or tabard itself. Now 
now I'm going to use Stormhole Silver and with a small dry brush I start dry brushing the sword itself then I decided to give it a bit more bluish look onto the sword so I made a mix of Dragon of Nightshade and Lamia Medium 2 to 1 part ratio I am using a small base brush and I apply it onto the storm host silver I dry brushed sword just to get a nicer bluish finish onto the sword once the mix is dry I'm going back to use again storm host silver and with a small layer brush I start edge highlighting all the little symbols and emblems that can be found on the model and also I do an edge highlight onto the sword itself I also use the storm of silver just to base paint all the gems that can be found on the spectre too Now I'm going to use a uh, technical soulstone blue and I apply it onto the gems that is on the spectre and also on the sword itself. I use corn red on the trident shape on top of the anvil symbol and I start base painting it with my small layer brush. And I use Noon Oil Wash onto the symbol of the tabard on the Abaddon Black and Corn Red so that to blend the two parts together. Now for the base, first I'm going to use Astro Granite texture and I start applying it onto the model itself but mainly just onto the center part of the base. And following it with Sternland Mud, I start applying it onto the outer rim part of the base itself. The reason being I'm doing this, I wanted to make a similar base which I made for the Castigators too. So I just want to make a similar scheme to it, this model too. Once the textures are completely dry, I am going to use Karak Stone and I start base painting the statue that the Avocator Prime is standing on. Once the Karak stone is dry, I use Seraphim Sepia wash and I apply it onto the statue. And 
Then I use Agrax Earthshade and I start applying it onto the Astro Granite part of the base itself. And Noon Oil Wash onto the Sterland Mud Texture part. Once the washes are completely dry, I use Wraith Bone. I use my trusty old brush and I start dry brushing onto the statue, the wraith bone. Then I switch onto a small layer brush and I start edge highlighting the statue itself. Now I'm going to use Dawn Stone and again with my trusty old brush I start dry brushing the Astro Granite part. Now I'm going to use Death World Forest and I start base painting the vine that is around of the statue. And I use Retributor Armor on the Halo. I use Athonian Kama Shade Wash onto the Death World Forest painted part. and Reikland Flash Shade on the Halo itself. Once it's dry, I use Elysium Green and I start layering the vines. And finishing the vines with some ogreen camo, I apply it onto the edges. And for the rose, I use corn red as a base color.
and I apply some null oil wash onto the rose. Then I leave it to dry and then just use Abaddon Black for the base of the rim and I can call my Avocator Prime in Anvils of the Helden Hammer Legion Scheme completely done. Now I only use this scheme on my hero, however you can use this color scheme on your Stormcasts if you are a fan of the Heldenhammer Legion. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, subscribe to my channel, leave a like to reach out more hobby painters and if you want to be notified about future video tutorial contents, hit the bell button. If you have any question or suggestion, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I am happy to reply and give advices. Thanks for watching, see you all in the next one. Cheers.